there's always things to work on um, for every game. And with this one tonight, uh, we knew they would zone. And we got a chance to be able to, for 40 minutes, to get what we want to try to do against the zone defense. And I thought Adam State plays it very aggressively. And it makes you have to make what I call basketball plays. And so it'll be a great experience for us to take moving forward with this game. Uh, the other real positive tonight is I thought Liv Roberts played extremely well. Uh, she twisted an ankle early, and you could see a little lull in our team. She gives us such great energy, and we make a lot of things happen through Liv. Uh, we talked about not shooting 30 or 43s. I'm happy we only took 21. I'm not real happy we're six for 21. So we have some work to do in shooting the basketball. And then uh, when the last group played the last quarter, uh, they outscored their opponent. And that was very important for us. And I thought what they did this game compared to the last time when they played extended minutes, they moved the basketball. Uh, they did what we want to do offensively, and they come up with 24 points. Joe, it's 9 and 11 quarters now that you guys have held teams to single digits defensively. The girls talked about how they, they pay attention to that. I mean, you got to kind of like that as a coach, to, that they're really kind of paying attention to defense. It's, uh, it's been a throwback. Uh, it's what we used to do here. And I think we got away from it for a stretch where we were more worried about how many points we could put up on the board. And now we're back to trying to play defense. And when you look at it, uh, we're usually going to be in the 50 to 60 point range. And I thought it was going to be there again tonight for a while. Uh, we made a lot of free throws. And, but yet, we defended. And I think that's going to be a staple for this group all year. And we have to learn just how valuable each and every possession is, both offensively and defensively. Your starts continue to get progressively better. You know, what, what do you attribute the difference to? Well, one of the things we talked about tonight is that we're starting to grow up a little bit as a team. Uh, you can have people returning, but their roles change. Responsibilities are different. And I think that takes a while for everybody to feel comfortable with. Uh, you just cannot say, well, now it's your turn to lead this group. And I think we're becoming better at it, we still have a ways to go. There's no doubt uh, for this team. I'm happy with where we're at. It was a nice three-game home run stretch that we took care of. Uh, but now we got to go and face a very difficult game against Drake, who plays extremely well. And so we're going to still look for that growth in this team. Liv mentioned that she felt that roles are starting to maybe get defined a little bit. Do you kind of feel that way after five games? And you know a little more about where people are? Yeah, I think we're becoming a little more comfortable. Uh, one of the things is is making sure that we do how we look at things is everybody has to contribute. We have to get everyone on the same page. And when we do that, I think your roles simplify. I think you become a better player, and I know you become a better team. And sometimes that takes somebody to give up a little bit of their individual ability for the team. And I think that's what we're seeing with this group right now. They're starting to understand. Uh, you know, you take a look at it tonight, we get 16 assists on 24 field goals. And that's pretty good for us. Uh, we don't exactly shoot the ball well from the perimeter. So to get 16 on 24, I think we're finding people on the inside. And that's really important for our team. Bailey, what have you seen in her progress kind of coming back here, Joe? I mean, 9 and 9 tonight in, in a short amount of time is pretty efficient. What I'm really starting to like about Bailey is we always knew she was a tremendous offensive rebounder. But we're getting defensive rebounds from her this year. And not only defensive rebounds, we've put her in some very difficult situations. Uh, against Miss Michigan State, she's having to play against 6'3 and 6'5 post players. Tonight against Adams State, she has to be out there toes to three, guarding three-point shooters. And I just feel very comfortable with Bailey being in that position. What's really starting to happen for us is Rochelle Tucker just keeps coming on. And with Rochelle, that's able to give me two post players. And when you take a look at it, I look at the position, and all of a sudden you go, well, out of our post play tonight, we got 18 points and 17 rebounds between Bailey and Rochelle. And uh, then when you look at the minutes are there, and it's 
basically three-fourths a game. So that tells me we have a great combination going in the post. I look at the production from the group rather than from one individual, and we're getting it done by the group. You mentioned the trip to Des Moines to, to play Drake. You know, you played well against Michigan State. Can that have some carryover uh, into, into how you play this Sunday? What we're hoping for this team is that they play with the confidence going in, uh, knowing if we execute offensively and defensively, we're always going to be in basketball games. Now, that doesn't mean that uh, somebody cannot blow this group out. Uh, I do worry about what we do offensively at times and how we're going to find points. But hopefully uh, that's why we scheduled it. We knew scheduling Drake was going to be a big challenge. They're a tremendously well-coached, talented team. And so uh, we have a big task at hand. I know you really haven't looked at them yet, but I saw a score. They, they were within 10 at Iowa State early this week. I mean, that's that right there tells you how good they are. Yeah, it, it, there's no doubt. If you follow women's basketball, you know how good Drake is. Mm -hmm. And going on to their floor, it's as big a challenge as we'll probably see throughout the year. All right, well, Lou, I guess got everything accomplished out of this game. Mm -hmm. You know, it was a little tricky with Thanksgiving and everything, but looks like you, you guys came out right from the start. Yeah, um, we've had a few, like three games in a row from Thursday to now, and so um, I think Coach was you know, a little tentative, like we might be sluggish at first, but um, I thought we come, came out great. Um, we came out better than we did the last game and stuff, and um, we're just excited going into Thanksgiving break, and we're excited to go on the road and go to Iowa, and so getting another home win just does it, and that's what Coach Joe preaches about, you know, we have to get our home wins. Mm -hmm. Really, what has it been in terms of these steady progressions to improve at the start of the game, which was kind of slow early on the first couple. What, what have you done differently that's made the start better? Yeah, I think it's really just about like prior to the game during warm-ups and even in the locker room, we're like a lot more excited, just um, like hyping each other up and knowing that we've got to start well, especially once we get into our harder games, like it's going to be very important. I guess you guys have now held teams under 10 points in nine out of the last 11 quarters. Do you guys, do you guys pay attention to that? Do you guys know that's going on? What's going on? Yeah, definitely. And uh, coach talks about that all the time. You know, we have to win five minutes at a time or four minutes at a time. Um, and if you don't win, you know, he's like, come on, pick it up. <laughs> Even though the score says we're winning, we didn't win that five minutes. And so that's something to keep us going, even though if the score, if we're up by 20, you know, we still have to play defense. We still need to execute. And so that's always in our minds when we're out there. Mm -hmm. Speaking of defense, you've been able to force a lot of turnovers last couple of games. What, what do you kind of attribute that to? I would attribute it to really like team defense. Like um, our help side's been great and just like knowing where the ball is and yeah, help side. <laughs> Sorry, I had a different point and then I forgot. <laughs> so, at least you admitted it. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. <laughs> I guess for both of you guys, you are going on the road now. You're taking mm -hmm. on a really good Missouri Valley team, I guess. Just your thoughts. You played well against Michigan State. I guess just your thoughts on what you guys need to get done on the road on Sunday. Yeah, um, I just think we're playing really confident right now. And in these last two games, I think you can really see that. that um, Everyone knows their roles and where they fit in on, in the team and stuff. And so I think going on the road, it'll be another good experience. You know, we played Michigan State well on the road, and we've been playing really well at home, so we can do it at Iowa. Hey, Bailey, for you, how much confidence does that give you knowing what you guys did a, a week ago against Michigan State? Oh, so much confidence. Um, I feel like being such a young team still, and we showed, like, a lot of maturity at that game, so it really... Like, it shows what we can do this year, and I think that um, this next road game is going to, like, set the tone for the rest of the year, really. You know, I'm curious, too. You guys you guys have played three Division two schools now here in this mm -hmm. first are, are you kind of anxious to kind of get rolling with, with the big boys, so to speak? Yeah, that? yeah, definitely. And, um, you know, just to compete all four quarters, that's one thing. That's what was so fun about our first game, even though they were Division II school, they st stuck with us. And, you know, we got to experience playing four quarters and what that's like. And so um, I'm excited to play 30 minutes again and mm -hmm. compete with the tougher teams.